Yo, what's up guys, Straps here, back with another tutorial and this one's a Mac only tutorial reason I'm doing this one is because it was suggested quite a bit in the last tutorial um, and you're all asking how I got these like black icons and stuff, some of them are different but I haven't changed them yet um, and yeah, it's, pr it's pretty simple uh, as you can see, most of it, most of the icons if I go into Finder, which won't open uh, yeah, most of the icons are like changed it's all it's called it's called black system basically um, you should be able to google it and uh, find it on there um, but let me show you how to get it all done first and basically what we're going to be using is a program called candy bar um, I think there are other programs you can use um, but I find this is the best one by far and uh, it's really good basically right here you've got uh, change your system icons which is basically the interface of the desktop documents files and all that stuff and then you've got icons um, which is applications uh, programs and all that stuff then you've got your dock um, mine's pretty simple it's just curved edges and it looks pretty sleek and I like it and um, then you've got that which I don't really know what that is what is that um, is that just a Macintosh yeah that's just basically that thing, that thing there um, but yeah uh, it's pretty good as you can see I've got quite a few things here um, trying all of them I definitely love black system the best it doesn't have everything so what I had to do was create the Skype one and the Twitter one and um, I was gonna do this uh, the Microsoft Messenger one and App Store and the ones that aren't black but I really couldn't be um, bothered to go around it but it still looks pretty cool um, and yeah so straight into it um, if you want to get candy bar you can go to this site here this link will be in the description it's made by panic um, and you can buy it or you can download it and I think you get 14 days um, 14 days trial um, and there's probably a way to get it for free if you look on um, just search on YouTube I'm not gonna influence that but you know if you wanna that's your choice whatever um, also here if you click here I've already got it open icon factory this is a good place to get icons like my black system um, for example if you type in flurry to the search uh, basically it's these ones here I've got them downloaded already flurry extras one two three four Basically what these are, they're just really sleek, really cool looking icons and they're all squares so like your whole system, um, Mac system will be matching and I had it on for a while um, but I just didn't like it as much as black system and uh, I can't remember where I got this but I'm sure if you google it you'll be able to find it pretty easily. Um, so yeah, let's get into changing the icons and stuff. Um, so let me see here let's go to icons and basically it's really simple all you have to do is I found Photoshop I've already got mine the same so where's Photoshop there so I just drag Photoshop onto there and it was saying changes are ready to be applied apply icons but what you want to do first is make sure you apply all of them first otherwise you'll have to keep doing it and um, if they don't pop up which they most probably won't um, once you've finished doing everything you want restart your computer and bring it back up and it should be brilliant um, I'm not sure mine mine was a bit messy but in the end it was so worth it um, I probably had to restart it twice I think I'm not sure why it just wasn't working for me but it will work uh, eventually and it is worth it and um, the dock if you want to change the dock you can do this yourself or you can find a dock from uh, um, you can find it from a lot of places. If you go to DeviantArt, I find that's a good place. Um, I'm not sure where I got mine from. Um, mine was a bit more silver than the one I got. I just changed it up a bit. If you go to Mac Docs, and then you'll get loads of results, and like loads of them are really cool. And uh, it's definitely worth doing if you're a guy who likes your things customized or oh, girl I don't know that looks really cool I like that 
Ooh. See, things like this. Um, looks really nice. And uh, can you can customise it to however you want. Um, so that's basically where you can get docs from Deviant. There's a lot of other places, just Google is the main place to go to. Um, or you can look at these file sizes, um, the measurements, 900 by 128. Go to Photoshop and then do 900 by 128. I'm not going to click OK, there's no point, I'm not going to make anything. But um, so that's how you make docs, and then you do the same for all these. Uh, like mine is these arrows, like they're really small here, and they basically point up um, and show which ones are open. And then the separator, I haven't got one, but that usually goes here to make it bigger and smaller. Um, and then if you click simple doc, I'll show you what this does. Um, or not. I don't think it will work with the, um, <clears throat> sorry, with the dock I've got up. So, yeah. I'm just gonna, okay, I'm not sure what i <laughs> Okay, well that's brilliant. Um, crap. Oh, there we go. It's all good. Um, bit of a kerfuffle there. Sorry about that. Um, as I said, uh, I made my Twitter logo and uh, Skype in Cinema 4D. Um, if you want to make your own logos, um, basically what you want to do is um, go to Photoshop, then create, um, I think mine was 400 by 400. Now if you create that, put whatever image you want in there for each uh, icon, Photoshop, Cinema 4D. Um, in fact, no, when I've done Cinema 4D, it messed up my whole Cinema 4D and I couldn't open it. I'm not sure if it was this or it was just another problem but you can try it um, I did reinstall it and it was fine again but I'm just not sure sorry about that um, there was a slight transition sort of because uh, I was talking to someone on MSN and they started spamming me um, it was someone I knew but anyway um, where was I? so Photoshop create your own uh, 400 by 400 and once you've done that, um, save it, uh, blah, 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 save it as a PNG and whatever name you like, whatever app you're doing it for or software, um, then what you do is when you've got your little icon, you go to, I think, quick drop, you can either open up Finder, find it in here, uh, find your icon and then just drag it into there and what it will do is it will drop into this little black system or it will it will be in your icons over here and um, I've got quite a few of them I didn't make all these obviously but yeah um, it's a brilliant program um, and as you can see really makes your uh, system look uh, personalized and great in my opinion um, I'm like hiding everything here, it's not working at all, is it? Uh, and uh, yeah, so basically I've got mine to match my desktop and it uh, looks really cool. I'll probably change it up soon, I've had it for a bit, but right now I'm happy with it and it's a great program. So get Candy Bar. Um, thanks a lot, guys. That's about it. Strats, peace.